Okay, before we were looking at the plants when we first arrived and we noticed that they were, they were looking like a little bit iron deficient. And that's not surprising, remember, because we've been running this system really on, you know, very few nutrients, just some sea salt, some seaweed extract, and it's done extremely well. I think the growth is probably better than you'd get in an average garden. But iron deficiency in aquaponic systems is quite common because in the fish food and the inputs you have into the system, remember all the nutrients that come into your system are going to come through your fish food one way or another. And there's a few things that we don't get in the fish food, and that is um, iron is, is probably the main one we're thinking about today anyway. And we can see that in the plants, we can see that in the leaves. So it's pretty easy, you buy chelated iron at any plant shop, and it's pretty expensive to buy actually. This carton here of 500 grams costs about $20 in most Australian gardening shops, but it will last you on a home system for well over a year. So we just open the carton and we can see in here what it looks like. It's a yellow powder and it's iron, it's been chelated or made able to be dissolved and there's a spoon provided. Now with the system today, as in everything with aquaponics, we go a bit steady at it, we don't do things rashly in an hurry. And I'll just get a, a good heap teaspoon of it there. And the easiest way I find to add it is to put it down the, the auto siphon into the water. See the water on the other side of the auto siphon there? And I'll just tip it down the side and it will dissolve and be carried away with the water into the fish tank and of course it will then be circulated right throughout the system. Chelated iron won't hurt the fish in any way, provided of course you know they don't get a great mouthful of it. But if you do it that way so that by the time that arrives at the fish tank it will be mixed up with the water and everything will be fine. So it's just that easy to add chelated iron. Now I find you'll probably need to do that about once a month to add iron to your system. And that would just be in most home systems like the Maximus we've got here. That would be about one of those level teaspoons about once a month. And you'll quickly get used to the look of the plant when you see that it's iron deficient because you'll see the leaves start to get that funny mottled yellow look on them. And if it goes for too long, the, the, the yellowing will become quite veined and become much more pronounced. But it's just amazing how quickly it's corrected. If we did some shots of this in a couple of days' time, you'd find that that yellowing will have gone already. It's just amazing the difference it makes.